Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy, fantasy, novels, and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today is, uh, what is it called? Marshall Monday. You got there. Got it. And uh, we are going to be discussing another fighting style. Today's fighting style is called Defense. 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 Yeah, right. <laughs> there you That's... go. Football, sports ball, we love it here in this establishment. We're not nerds. Uh, I, I totally <laughs> thought you were going to do this. Ah, no, that's fair. <laughs> uh, that's more my speed. Uh, defense <laughs> is a fighting style for paladins, rangers, or fighters. Any of the three can take it. It is the simplest out of all of the fighting styles. While you are wearing armor, you gain plus one bonus to your AC. That's it. That's all it does. If you are playing the game. You have plus one AC. We did it. We figured it out. Unless Bob, you're in the shower. You um, yep. no, don't be naked, and this works. Yeah, man. Um, it's it's what it is. I, uh, it's kind of boring. It is boring. I think undersells it. Like this is. Um, um, five percent of the time you're getting hit less okay what character wants that what character doesn't want that is this good yeah. for everybody yeah. the only thing i'm thinking is if you if your build is to absolutely maximize out your ac and you just want to push that envelope as far as it can go then this does part of that but yeah Ugh. I think that's. I think you nailed it right on the head. That's really the only spot this exists in. Because as, is, you, as you advance, I mean, that one armor class is going to matter less and less. I would uh, think. I don't know how true that is. So no? if we look at something like, let's say you have a really generous DM and you're a level two paladin, you have plate mail for some reason. So you got plate mail and a shield and you took defense. Your base AC is 18 plus two plus one. So you're sitting on a 21 AC level two. That's pretty ridiculous. Most of the time it's going to be closer to like chain mail plus shield plus defense, which is a 19 AC. In the low tiers, that means very few things hit you. And as you get higher and higher level, more and more things hit you more commonly. It still scales pretty normally. The plus one AC doesn't mean like it doesn't get worse as the game goes on. More things hit you still less often than they would without it. Is yeah. that tangibly interesting? Not really. Is that what a fighting style needs to be to get mileage on a character? I think not. I think if you're taking a fighting style, you really want to hammer home and empower your regular actions. You you typically want some kind of empowerment to a build. You want to bring together a niche that your character is better at than the rogue would be at it. Better than, it, than the barbarian would be at it, right? You take a comparative... The difference between a fighter with a maul and a barbarian with a maul is the fighter's finesse lets them get a little bit more damage out of it, whereas the barbarian's just recklessly swinging the thing around and smashing things to pieces, not necessarily with the same understanding of uh, exact form. That's sort of the fighting style sells. Dueling is kind of the same window, right? You do slightly more damage because you as the duelist versus the rogue as the duelist. The rogue might be better at knowing where on the person to stab, but your form is immaculate, and that gives you that little bit of an edge. Defense doesn't sell any of that fantasy. Defense is just your armor is a little bit nicer, I guess. You are slightly better at playing defensively, but there aren't real windows where you're going to often feel that that's coming forward. Whereas, like, if you're wielding a shield and you're, you're chainmail already, the difference between 18 and 19 is going to feel very small. It's going to feel like everything that's missing you is missing you anyway. And the extra 5% chance is just doesn't come up all that often. It's hard to get feedback on that that'll feel empowering to the character. Ultimately, I think this is one of those fighting styles that if it's if you're getting extras down the road, this is free on the character that doesn't have other options. That's really the only place I see it coming to fruition. I don't know, man. That's uh, I can see it feeling good if you know a, a creature you're down to three hit points and a creature rolls, you know, exactly in one. that in that one, you know, five percent. Yeah, exactly one below what they need to hit you. You say, "Oh man, glad I had defense." That will happen maybe <laughs> once in a campaign versus uh, what you're doing every single round, making your attack action. Yeah, right? yeah. No, that's I think yeah, the big difference. Devil's advocate. Sure. 
this that's not to say it's unusable. I think this is actually fairly similar to archery in that it's a passive buff that makes your character better. But with archery, you're killing things. Yeah. And with this, you're not getting killed as easily, which you're going to do a lot more of killing of things than you're going to do being killed most of the time. Most of the time, you're going to kill a lot more stuff than you're going to get dropped to zero. So the defense, it's important. It isn't worth a fighting style important, I don't think. Where I think archery, getting the plus two to hit, this is what you do. This is how your character is better than the rogue at shooting. Your form is immaculate, again, like we just said. Um, I don't know. And, I can't I mean, get excited about defense. Plus two is doubled plus one. So That's true. You know, you, the amount of times it's going to make the difference is doubled. Yeah. Yeah, if this... Why would you would you feel differently if this was a plus two to your armor class? Yeah, that's a that is a big difference. Yeah, that doesn't make it more interesting. It just makes the the characters that I see a lot of DMs have initial struggles with a lot harder to deal with. Not a lot harder, marginally harder to deal with. Right. I I often see there's this course around. I have a paladin. He got plate mail because he asked for it, and now his AC is twenty one, and I don't know what to do. And the answer to that question is, well, you probably shouldn't have given him 21 AC at second level, but now that he's there, you're just going to have to allow him to feel invincible from attacks a lot of the time and throw, start, start throwing more and more things that create saves into the encounters until you get to the upper tiers where that AC starts to get challenged a bit more. Mm. And that's a difficult route to be like, what's an immediate hotfix to help this, what feels like an invincible character get damage. So in that world, getting an extra bonus one is a lot. Um, again, not a, really a ton. It's again marginally more. It's a twenty difference between twenty one and twenty two is not very high. At, whenever creatures are only rolling two or three to hit, you're still getting hit less than five percent of the time off. So it's like only on crits or what's hitting you. So this puts it this in this weird spot where you have you will get enough of it where you don't really need it anymore. Once your AC is like fifteen percent, twenty percent of things are hitting you. Going to going up and reducing that number further, you're not using your hit point pool as efficiently. Your, the character starts to get a little bit more inefficient in all the other things it's doing. Mm. If you're already not expecting to get hit by more than two of the attacks in the entirety of a fight, your HP pool is not doing anything. You can't leverage that bonus HP in a way that's meaningful, whereas if you took a fighting style instead, that HP pool that you have just on every character for existing that you get for leveling up can be leveraged a bit. You want to balance these things. Having a giant invincible AC may seem cool. It may seem cool to never really get hit, that character's probably pretty inefficient. The character's probably not the best at doing a lot of other things. They might be good enough at hitting if they're like a paladin. Maybe you're doing enough damage with your Divine Spice, you don't really care. You can leverage your features better if you diversify a little bit. I think this is one of the instances where I can like point to say, defense is a little bit more overkill on the characters that would really consider taking it. You don't need this much overkill. Probably just take something that empowers like how you actually fight. Or better yet, take things that improve your allies' defenses so that their HP that's going down faster, things like interception and protection, that will step forward and make you feel more like the bulwark, more like the defense. You existing is defensive. I think that's a better play style and place to be than defenses. Oh, what about um all right, so yeah, you know, for fighters and paladins, you're already decked out in this heavy armor. Maybe it's a little bit of overkill, unnecessary. What about for rangers, though, where tend to wear lighter armor? They tend to wear medium armor, and that's going to put them at an AC of, like, 17. They don't get shields, so that's kind of relevant. I think it's probably at its best on ranger, um, exactly for the reason you said their armor isn't as good, typically speaking. If you've got, like, a half plate, you're looking at an AC of 17. If you've got a breastplate, your AC is 16. Those are the two best ones. Um, spiked armor and scale mail are both available out the gate and your ac is going to be sitting at 16 there because it's dex mod plus 14 or dex mod max 2 plus 14 that's where your ac is going to be ac 17 mm -hmm. is very high on those rangers maybe you're building a frontline ranger where you want to do the stabby thing i'm curious as to doing the stabby thing without taking the stabby thing fighting styles that's an interesting choice to me <laughs> you don't have a shield which is something you'd want to have on a character doing the frontline thing i don't know I feel like you probably should just be playing a fighter then at that point. Maybe you want to be like a defender of your animal companion. I still think I'd rather have a two weapon fighting build. I think I'd still rather have some other way to weaponize me being in the front line. Like just take a mall and take a great sword, take great weapon fighting. That seems like more empowering than this. I think yeah. there could be a direction to go, but I don't see it being that great. That's the, the healing argument again. It's uh. You know, rather than defend yourself, you know, kill your enemies more efficiently. It'll save you. It'll net you hit points in the long term. It'll yeah. let your whole team hit points in the long term. All right. Um. 
plus one to AC if you're wearing armor. We've uh, milked that cow quite a bit. Anything I else got into it. Yeah. It's. I hope they remove this fighting style from the game. I do think it is that boring and that bad. I don't think it needs to exist. I don't think new players don't, should have. Don't take it. It. it... It existing means there's going to be some characters <laughs> that say, I don't know what I'm doing. This seems good. I don't know the statistical breakdown of my AC versus my HP pool. And like, let's be honest, I don't either off the top of my head. Like, I don't know my average damage distribution at a fight and every how many encounters I tend to plan out and the quantity of HP versus AC versus the intended quantity of damage things are going to take versus their armor class. I don't know what the perfect number is. Defense normally is more than you need, though. And that's why it it. It'll pull some people in to say, I want to be a defensive character. I don't know what the word reaction is yet. I just am learning the game. I'll just take defense because it's easy. I Armor class seems like something I want to improve. I'll take it. And then it'll be boring and not all that useful or helpful. And it'll feel vanilla and bland and not all that empowering. I just think we can do better than that. I think if we're ta- making a choice on a martial character, they already have so few options to get to make meaningful decisions. Giving them something to do is really important or giving them a way to empower their base game kit is really important. This doesn't do either of those things. This probably shouldn't exist. Ah, it doesn't bother me that it exists. If they, if they if they pick a boring feat, so be it. They'll learn. You know, you gotta let the you gotta or let the babies quit. fall down and scrape their knees. They'll get back up. They're not gonna quit over this. <laughs> They're not gonna quit over this, but they'll quit over having the sensation of not feeling that they do anything. And I think that happens more often than people give it credit. Ah. Perhaps. Uh, I don't think it's quite that dire. Listen, I an interesting phenomenon, whenever something is actively really bad and you play with it and you're like, oh my god, this was so terrible. That sticks in your mind. People love to get angry about bad things. Whenever something's super, super overpowered, people don't go, oh my god, that's cracked, that's bra- crazy, that's broken. You hear about it, right? The, I think the insidious element of a game is whenever it becomes boring, whenever thing people can't get passionate about it, whenever there's an indifference towards it, whenever it's just bad and boring and not notable, those are where you get to people that go, I don't really give a shit. Like, I took the things I was supposed to, nothing really happened, I don't really care, I'm gonna bail, I didn't get excited, I didn't get offended, I didn't get any of the emotional spectrum here, I don't want to engage with this process, or not. I don't, I don't, even, I don't want to engage. I don't care enough to think about this process anymore. I think the defense is a kind of feature that leads to that experience. We want less of that in the game as a whole. That's my quick spiel about it. Defense isn't the end of the world to exist. I just think the game would be better as a whole with less boring features like it. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Do you have a rating? I think this is a uh, This is a one. No one should take this. I can't think of a character that should take this. It's really neat at its best it's free armor sure but you're forgoing a real fighting style that'll actually empower your character in an interesting way you don't need this you probably should never take this if it's like your third fighting style fine that's even a case where there's like a subclass that gets it don't take defense ah yeah i I agree with everything you say (sighs) except that i have to give it a two it's uh it's not it's not one bad it doesn't it doesn't anger me like it is does. Is there you. a character you can envision that you? No, put I'll never this on? take this. Ever, well, ever why take is it, it higher than a one? Because I, I one deserves a special place. That's uh, fair enough. That's for spells that make me earn spells or feats or fighting styles that anger me in some way. And this is just. It has to ruffle your jimmies for you to give it a one. Yes, I got you. My jimmies are not requisitely ruffled. Fair enough. All right, that was Defense. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, Yeah, what do you think about Defense? Until then, we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.